Here is how to raise butterflies from eggs. We raised butterflies from caterpillars, but before they left, they left us some eggs. They left some on here, a few on here, and we brushed some off onto here so that they have food immediately. Here's a video of us letting the butterflies go free. many eggs on here, I will be brushing them onto the leaves. and now they are caterpillars. Instead of keeping them on the leaves, we move the caterpillars to a food medium that we ordered from Carolina Biological Supply. Here's a clip of the caterpillars from when they were newborns. Since we moved the caterpillars onto the food medium, they got pretty big. So we have to separate them into other cups. Here's how we do that. Here's our special guest will be teaching us how to transfer the caterpillars into new cups. First, we put in the food. We got this food from Carolina Biological Supply. You don't want to put more than a quarter of an inch into the cup. And you mash it down and try to get it sort of flat. That's a little more than a quarter inch. Take some out. Note in one of these small cups, you should only have about one caterpillar anymore and they will be huge and there will not be enough room to move around. This is good. Now, we have some cups that have too many caterpillars. These cup size, only six or less. So we've got about eight or nine in there. And this one, we have about a million. So we're gonna transfer one of them to this cup. We will have a time lapse of us transferring all of them. he teaches us how. So we got lucky, this guy is stuck to the top. So we can just use a very light brush and we'll touch him very lightly and coax him into the cup. Oh. No one said this was gonna be easy. And we got him. There we go. 
The last part is you take some tissue paper. We I'll got. I'll show you how to get the tissue paper mm -hmm. after we finish this. Place it on the cup. Put the top on. And then you cut around the excess tissue. Now, once this is done, don't open that cup until you have a chrysalis. There you go. get the food medium it comes with something like this other times it doesn't this tissue paper is made to keep the bugs out and so that caterpillars can go into chrysalids and then you can move this to either a bigger cage or a plant because they're not going to hatch as butterflies in this tiny tank if it doesn't then you can use one of these. This is a normal face mask. I am filming this during the coronavirus pandemic, so we have a lot of these. And one thing you can do is cut around the border. Because these things are in layers. And then I'll show you what to do once I finish this. These things come in layers. So what you do is if you cut it correctly, which clearly I didn't. You can peel them apart because they're in layers. Yeah, I really need to work on my cutting skills. And then you peel the layers. This next layer is a bit challenging to peel, but you can still do it. Uh, I'm going to do this off camera and then I'll show you what the final product is. So here is the mask, completely cut into layers. You'll then cut these layers to be the size of the cup. So if the cup is this size, you have to cut it about this much. Of course, it's not always going to be perfect. So I'll demonstrate on here. If you don't have enough of this, uh, you might have a caterpillar crawling around the top of it because there will be a gap. Uh, we did that and we'll show you what to do with our escapee if you have any escapees. So I cut it about that much and it fits a good amount.
so here's our escapee. Uh, he climbed out because there's a gap right here. You can kind of see it. So this is pretty bad. So we're going to open it up. For some reason, we decided to name our escapee Harold. I'm not sure why we decided to do this, but we did, and who cares? And now we wait. We have about a week until the chrysalids form. If you don't know, a chrysalis, or chrysalids is the plural, is what butterflies form when they grow their wings and antenna and become butterflies because currently they are caterpillars. If you call those cocoons, you are wrong. Cocoons are what moths form. So I'll get back to you when chrysalids have formed. Chrysalids have formed. We must move the chrysalids to a bigger cage or onto some leaves or something because adult butterflies will not fit in the containers that the caterpillars are in. When a caterpillar is about to go into metamorphosis, they make a J shape like this. The arrow is pointing to a caterpillar in a J shape. The arrow is pointing to a chrysalis. This is what it will look like when a caterpillar goes into metamorphosis, also known as forming a chrysalis or the pupa stage of the life cycle. In about a week, a butterfly will crawl out of this chrysalis. It will look slightly like the caterpillar, except it will have four visible legs, visible eyes, antenna, and most noticeable, wings. Here is a close-up of the chrysalis. This is what it will look like when your caterpillars go into metamorphosis. Our habitat, the place where the butterflies will stay until we set them free. We ordered this from Carolina Biological Supply. What does this Velcro do? Oh. So here we have our chrysalis right here. Remember when you're handling these to be super gentle because We have to pin the tissue paper he's on to here because he's not going to hatch as a butterfly in this tiny little thing, as I stated in the caterpillar section. So to do that, you're going to take a little safety pin, just a normal safety pin. We're going to have to open this up. Sometimes there's webbing connecting the cup to the tissue paper, so it might be a bit hard. So 
So here we have the chrysalis. And pen the mask to the cage, like this. And this is what the final product will look like. This caterpillar made a chrysalis on the lid. And the rest of them were in here. If that happens, you take a big safety pin like this and you still put the lid on the cage the way you would with any other butterfly. Sometimes, after a caterpillar makes their chrysalis, the chrysalids fall off of the mask, the tissue paper, the lid, whatever they made their chrysalis on. And this will happen. We are lucky enough because I think there's a thread that we can pin to the cage. If that is the case, then Take the thread and safety pin it to the cage. Either attach it to another thing or just put it on the cage. You see, there's one in here that isn't attached to that thread. If that is the case, you take a paper towel, you lay it on the bottom, and then you lay the chrysalis on the paper towel. We have our special guest trying to pin the thread. No, it is much easier to just lay them on the bottom. He pinned a pin to the pin, and then he's going to pin the, this pin to the cage. This. is on the paper towel.
adult butterflies have finally crawled out of their chrysalids. Here is a clip of them crawling around their cage. These butterflies appear to be mating. We have watched butterflies lay eggs and these butterflies look like they are preparing to lay eggs that will actually have caterpillars emerge from them after three to five days of staying as eggs. If your butterflies mate in captivity, set them free very shortly after they do this because butterflies die not so long after laying eggs. Remember that the eggs will be laid a few days after you see them mating. Do not set your butterflies free soon after you see them mating because otherwise you will not get the eggs and you will not be able to start a new generation of butterflies. And finally, here's a clip of us setting our newest butterflies free. Here is me setting the butterflies free. unzip the top and sometimes the butterflies just fly out and other times you have to stick your finger in, have them land on you and then either they fly out or you put them on a flower or whatever. See that one just flew out on its own. In the first few, I stuck my finger in and put them on a flower. And sometimes this happens. Sometimes they land on plants and lay tiny little blue eggs. You can st stick a plant in there and sometimes a butterfly would lay an egg or a bunch of eggs on that plant. And sometimes, like this time, they didn't lay any at all. Thanks for watching. Bye.